As of uh, the middle of September of 2021, we've seen over five and a half million children develop COVID infection with over 20,000 hospitalizations and around 500 to 1,000 deaths in children. If we look at that as a cause of death in children under 18, COVID-19 is in the top 10 causes of death of children. My name is Yvonne Maldonado, and I'm a professor of global health and infectious diseases. I'm a pediatric infectious disease epidemiologist, and I have spent my career working on vaccines for children in the US and in other countries. Normally, any vaccine takes between three and five years, and sometimes longer, to be studied in non-clinical studies and then studied in patients and human beings and then really uh, the data reviewed and approved. So it can actually take quite long. Now these vaccines against COVID, the three vaccines that are used in the United States, were available in December of 2020. That means just under a year after the virus itself was discovered. So that was very rapid, but it was done very safely. And the reason it was done so quickly was because we had existing technology to roll out these vaccines and because large efforts were made to really enroll large numbers of people around the world. We know that it took that long just to get to the adults and then we needed to spend much more time looking at the dosing for children because the doses of vaccines given to adults may not always match the same dose that needs to be given in kids. What we've been doing is looking at the vaccines in children. So since uh, December of 2020 until now, those were times when we were enrolling thousands of children around the country and uh, conducting these very safe and careful studies. Now, those studies have demonstrated 90% plus effectiveness in preventing infections, preventing hospitalizations, and preventing deaths. So what's next for the vaccines is more exciting news, we think. So we would love to see vaccines for children six months of age and older, so they can go back to childcare and preschool and kindergarten. But we're also looking forward to the fact that we may have to include COVID vaccines as part of a regular schedule, depending on how long the virus is around. And it may be that we will need to give a COVID vaccine on a regular basis for another year or so. We just don't know that. But we are confident that whatever it is that we're facing in the future, we do have the tools now to start to develop the next set of ways to get our children back to a healthy and safe, normal life.